Hey what's going on guys I'm Rahul from True Tech bringing you top 5 Android apps for this month that is November 2016 so let's get started The first app is the launcher itself. Arrow Launcher is one of the fluidest launchers out there with amazing features like pulling up from the home screen to view quick toggles and recent apps and having a deeper shadow under the apps that are running in the background. The launcher does summon a great value. However, what I majorly like about this launcher is the beautiful design with the Gaussian blur effects, translucent covers, and the fact that it provides your phone with a gorgeous makeover without slowing it down. Besides, like the cherry on top, the launcher is free. Moving on, the next app is Adobe Lightroom. Wanna up your smartphone photo game and stun your friends with amazing like click pictures from your smartphone? Adobe Lightroom is an app you should get. The app provides a vast variety of filters to choose from which can be adjusted to your taste, and of course it lets you dive in deeper and make semi-professional changes or adjustments to your photos through the various adjustment layer it provides. Quite a nifty app for on the go shutterbox. The third app is Font Over. As the name makes it reminiscent, the app lets you customize and place text over your photos. The app comes with a plentitude of pre-made text templates that can be customized to your taste. But I prefer to do it from the scratch as it allows me to perform unending customizations on my text, like opacity control background or text, alterable spacing between the characters of the text, and different styles of underlines. With all of that, the app is surely amazing. So the people who follow me or True Tech on social media did get an early teaser of this video. If you too want to get early teasers or previews of my upcoming videos, be sure to follow me on my social media. Links in description. Anyway, moving to the fourth app, Sprightly. Sprightly allows you to create minimal, modern and beautiful flyers out of your photos. The app lets you choose as many photos as you want from your phone and put them into decent templates of your choice which can then be shared on social media as images or can be saved as PDF in order to print them out. And finally moving to the fifth app on this list that is Lido. Unlike Adobe Lightroom, this app lets you make semi-professional edits to your photos in order to produce social media ready images. It has a wide variety of filters and adjustment layers to choose from, accompanied by a few fun and playful photo editing features such as blurred background and mirror effects. That was pretty much it for this video. I tried to keep it short due to a critical reason. People's attention spans are reducing day by day, which is why longer videos tend to bore them. But if you are the guy who likes to dive into the details, do check out the link in the description box below to the full article, which has a detailed overview of each and every app mentioned on this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to kill the like button and share it with your friends. If this video gets around 45 likes before December, I'll also make a top 5 iOS apps video. Besides, I'm eager to know your favorite apps or potential apps for this series as well. Do leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.